Hey everyone, gonna get this set up and go over some news with you guys. So I think that this will be fairly interesting stuff. So, um, looking at some people, I've been getting our Twitter account set up, and I was looking at these guys. My data, um, no idea whether they're a big deal already or whether they're going to be a big deal. But this touches on a news topic that I think is very interesting and important. Um, they said you should have full control of your personal information that you provide companies now. Uh, companies but now you are also able to gain a financial return from this and let's see if we just are clicking a picture if it goes somewhere okay well that's very true I find that interesting we encourage you to learn more on our data project at the very least you will learn how to best protect your data and personally benefit from it hashtag cryptocurrency hashtag blockchain um, so I just want to talk about this topic and I'm actually going to just kind of let this that I'm watching run in the background because we're going to go over to our uh, live trading without a net very soon. Um, but I'm just going to discuss a little bit about the future of crypto blockchain and why I think that topic is important. Um, one of the projects the um, being on the topic of metadata and uh, calling it the meta net. Um, I, bl I believe Craig Wright is the one that was discussing this, so we'll go into a lot more detail of that later on. Um, but just generally speaking regarding this news, um, the My Data con concept that I see there, uh, they're wanting to kind of create a new infrastructure of internet on top of the internet using blockchain, and basically every piece of data can be connected to um, the, hey, there's what we were looking for. I'll show you that position in a little bit. Uh, so that's really good news. Um, hold on. Allow me to interrupt myself. Let's see. So did it stay at 19 long enough to clear? That looks like I still got a little bit more clearing to happen up there. That beautiful spike to 19. Got a position in that literally needs to clear at 19. So I'm calling that a little bit on the nose. Um, so maybe 20 is a little bit safer for us to see the impact of that. It's really funny if you zoom in on this too, the, uh, yeah, there you go. You can see the volume much more clear. Oh, wow, that was very enthusiastic. Thank you, whoever did that. Thank you out there. So the idea is that right now, you know, people feel taken advantage of by the massive uh, powers that be. Facebook, Google, all the portals to the internet are charging a premium um, for us to use their services, um, but we don't pay we think that we're getting it for free, but we're paying in our personal data. And they collect things you would never think that they collect. And people, uh, institutions, governments, education programs all value that data. Uh, we just are being taken for granted and may not pay attention to the results of that. Um, but those who will control us in the future are uh, paying heavily to know about us right now. So the idea of um, the meta net and projects like this my data whether you know I, I have done no digging literally but just as i was following people on facebook and saw that it triggered my understanding of a much larger more important topic so i'm treating this as in the news and we'll cover a lot more actual news in the news as well um so this is one of those things to understand let's say that uh you have a product brand um you sell um mouthwash okay and you think you have the better mouthwash and so you pay for promotions and you've got your facebook page and you've got your twitter and you've got all these different things and you try to find people that talk about you know we like to try products and you get them to try your products and you find people that talk about hey i'm looking for something better than scope and so you you know hit them up and you try to start these conversations with people um, you target all your information um, you're a personal you're a person on facebook but you're also a company hold on gotta sneeze Okay, I love this mute feature as long as I remember to unmute. <laughs> All right, sorry about the break there. So the idea is that you would be able to use blockchain information to link everything about your product and, um, let's say, competing products and anything that you've done as an individual 
uh, your hard work to get your product launched and who you are and where you came from and you went to business school and did all these different things, yada, yada, yada. All that information would be on the web. And if you as an individual were not interested in um, having that information just um, passed to the powers that be, um, you would be kind of starting at a point of saying, you know, I assume that I have the right to privacy. Um, but since I do have things that I want to push out there, um, I also don't want to just have um, the process of having it advertised or pushed to other people uh, without having some say-so in it or being able to earn off of the distribution of information. So the idea that Google provides us information for free but steals it from us at a huge uh, profit, we opt out of um, being on the receiving end of said profit gain situation, um, not paying for other people's demographics and stuff. We start at a neutral point and then you have a buy-in if you're willing to allow that information to pass from hand to hand. And at the same time, uh, let's say that you are a person of value, a product of value, um, personal information on any level, anything that has a value attached to it in the current scheme, if you opt in, then you are going to be earning um, a percentage of that profit automatically. So people go searching for you and they find it, you should have a little bit of value attached to that, almost like a license. Um, if you are trying to do something not as an advertisement, but as information about yourself or your product, um, it's like intelligently linked to the information that people find on a wiki, people that find on a search, people that um, post information somewhere else. The blockchain is um, able to connect every single one of those points in a way that the internet is made a little bit too sloppily and with too little privacy. So those things were, it was possible for them to already build that into the infrastructure of the internet, but they chose not to. And so now we have the situation where um, one of the biggest multi-billion, billion, billion, billion dollar businesses is selling our private information without our knowledge or without our okay. So, yeah, I found that important topic um, very interesting. And in fact, I would go to do it right now. Going to retweet this important part of the future of the internet meta net and projects that turn information and privacy into profit for the owners of IP huge gain ability to remain private and opt, opt out even better. Good luck, my data on the right track. We have okay. Hey, you know what? Good enough for the president, good enough for me. Tweet. Twitterified, totalitarian. <laughs> oh dear, that might actually be a good one. So that went up to three nineteen. Very cool. Yeah. So um, really, really, really fascinating topics, but a little bit scary because do we necessarily completely and totally trust the new hands that this stuff is going to be in? Not really sure about that. But uh, some of the thinking of being able to opt out and have a better layer of privacy is a good thing, and some of the thinking in being able to opt in and earn, not such a bad thing either. Um, the idea being that every single thing will have a smarter layer of information attached to it. I just think that's a good thing. So that's kind of the only thought I have for now on that before going into live trading. So we're going to go ahead and get that show on the road. So thank you guys for listening and uh, go ahead and follow us on the live trade. Um, I guess when I say live trade, um, you know, we're still kind of working on the soft launch so getting that rolling and thank you guys for following bye